Big Z Reviews. Blue Beetle is the newest superhero action film based on a DC character that might be part of the new uh, DC universe, depending on how well does the box office. And it's, it's this whole era of the DC uh, comic book movies are just in such a weird space. And this movie is pretty good, but it's not amazing. So he may or may not be part of the rest of the DC universe. We'll see. Jenny. Guard the habit in your life, but do not open it. You went in to get us jobs, and all you brought back was a hamburger? Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell is that? Oh, my space. Re-entry systems ready. Wait, 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 no, no! This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Oh, this ain't what you want. Oh. So this was directed by uh, Angel Manuel uh, Soto, and it mainly stars uh, Zolo Maraduena as uh, Jamie Ray as their Blue Beetle. And, you know, unlike a lot of other superheroes, especially in DC, he is not an orphan. And I think that his family is probably the strongest part of this film. You know, like, he is... He has this, like, his whole um, Latino family. Is, and, you know, it's, 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 to me, it always seems, feels like family is such a strong... Um, part of their of of lives uh, of that culture and they really embrace that because um like he is they get started the film he is coming home from graduating from college and he finds out that while he was gone things have kind of fallen apart and you know i i love that this city that they're in it's very you know it, it's with with dc they're like they're in america and it's kind of our world but there are a bunch of cities that are like the big cities aren't our cities but they're like inspired by our cities you know and uh, like this one it's kind of like miami miami you know somewhere in like the florida keys and you know like i feel like they they, they when they say like they're mexican i think but like there's a lot of mentions of cuba and like revolutionaries but so i'm not sure exactly what their what their culture is supposed to be but uh like they they like it's, uh, you know he comes home and his his dad, uh, played by uh, Damien Al Alcazar, like he had a heart attack. He lost his business. He's about to lose his house because Cord, which is like the big uh, monopoly, the 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 evil evil um, the evil the evil corporation in this film is like they're um, they're tearing down, buying all the houses and tearing them down and putting in um, to put in new uh, high rise buildings probably. And, you know, then he has, um, his, his uncle is, is a play by George Lopez. And he is probably the, the comedic factor of the whole film. He's really fun. He's like a, a crazy hacker. Uh, like, he, he, like, and, um, he had the, his grandmother is played by Adriana Barraza. And, like, she is really, she has some great moments, too. Especially towards the climax when she reveals her, her revolutionary past, kind of. When she gets some weapons and goes after all the bad guys. And. And um, his sister is uh, played by uh, Belisa Escobedo, and their their mom is played by Elpida Carrillo, and um, the, the family is just such a strong part of this film. And I think that's when it's at its its most unique and it's, and its most original because so much of this film is derivative. You know, this is this is coming in after. What like <laughs> over oh, fifteen years of 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 and, you know superhero films being like the top of our culture, and um, this feels like a combination between uh, um, Iron Man and Ant Man, you know the or the first film, the origin story. I mean, it's maybe a little bit of MCU Spider Man in it, and. Uh, uh, like, the thing is, I love origin films. I love superhero origin films. So I was in for the ride. But definitely, it, it felt a little played out at times. And I think that the most I was missing was that the whole the whole thing, the Blue Beetle, the Scarab suit, it kind of, like, takes over him. And a really cool kind of design. I, I love that, too. It's like an actual suit. So that that's one thing so many Marvel films... They have that weird thing where they moved all their suits to be digital 
and it just kind of looks shitty. Like, it looks like a floating head on top, you know, because, like, the connection between the green screen aspect and the real aspect is just kind of weird, and the heads look like they're floating. I always especially notice it with Spider-Man and Iron Man in their suits. And, you know, I like that he's actually wearing a suit. You know, I think that, like, the, um, the like, parts of it might be CGI, but, like, it, you know, it doesn't have that floating head aspect. Although, the main villain, which is just, like, an alternate version of his powers does have that the uh, floating head, you know, in, in the climaxes. But um, you know, it's I, I I liked you know that the the idea that like he he gets to and like the um the uh, Kaji Da is like the the voice like who whatever the like the 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 mind of the suit or whatever kind of takes over and runs diagnostics and he kind of just destroys it goes crazy like five all over the place it's a really fun scene but i think that what i was missing the most from this film is more bonding between uh jamie reyes and the suit like it's just at a certain point like it's like um you know they tell us instead of show us where like the uh the bad guy susan sarandon like they have like uh, at some point he's kidnapped and and getting the stuff for the suit, so you have a final battle between someone that like similar suits, and um, he like he, they're they're like they do this thing like look their minds are connecting they're they're forming the symbiosis and it's like and he has a moment like inside his brain with stuff that happened before, but it's like I wanted to see more of them just bonding. Like I know God, I, I talked about being derivative, but I wanted to see something like um. In the the first Spider Man, when he gets that suit and he's ha- he's locked in that um, that warehouse, and like he's just shooting the shit with the AI for the suit, and like they're bonding. Like I wanted something like that in this film because they just all of a sudden that like she's speaking Spanish and she's bonded. And I think the voice is played by Becky G, which is like that musician. But I feel like they they made her too robotic. It just sounds like a robot AI voice. Like they could have done something more with that. And I, and I think, but maybe, I mean, if they do want to do more, you could do more with it later. But, like, I, I love that, and I love that the whole aspect. There's um, Jenny Cord, played by uh, Bruno, Bruna Marquezine. Like, she is, like, the, um, the niece of Susan Sarandon. And, like, her dad was, like, was like um, a shitty ver- version of Batman, kind of. Like, you know, but be, uh, there's the whole thing, the whole stuff with that. But, like... There's, that's where all of the gadgets that his family kind of help with, they, they use. And now all that is great. And I want even more of that. But again, that stuff reminds me a bit of Ant-Man with, with uh, the daughter, you know, the wasp, you know. But it's just... And there's a, there is a, a slight bit of heisty stuff. That's why it, it reminds me a lot of Ant-Man. And, like, with the flying and stuff is, is Iron Man, you know, and the bad guy. And, and, the, and the, you know, evil businesses that, that used to be weapon manufacturers and try to not be weapon manufacturers anymore. But, you know, I still, I enjoy my time with it. You know, it was a fun superhero movie film. But I definitely think it, it was relatively forgettable. And I don't know how it'll hold up and, you know, if people will, will want to see more of it. I really don't know. But I did enjoy it. Probably give like an 8.25 out of 10. Maybe an 8.5? I don't know. But, I mean, I had a good time. I think if, if you enjoy superhero films, you might have a good time too. Although, at the same time, if, you are a big, if you've seen every superhero film, it will feel a little bit old. But I still had a good time. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.